Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking with Chef Rich. Thanksgiving is upon us and it is time to make a turkey. I love turkey. So we're gonna jump right in. I have a 20 pound turkey over here. His name is Tom. Uh, we had a nice conversation a little while ago. Nice guy. Anyway, um, getting on with things. So I have a 20 pound turkey. I have a lemon cut in quarters, an apple cut in quarters, an onion, Spanish onion, large Spanish onion cut in quarters, 10 cloves of garlic chopped. I have two and a half tablespoons of uh, sage, thyme, and rosemary, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of black pepper. And most people use melted butter on a turkey. I use olive oil just because it's a bit healthier. Um, butter has maybe a little bit of a better flavor, but olive oil is definitely healthier for you, so I'm going with olive oil. Anyway, I have three quarters of a cup of olive oil. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our herbs and add it to the olive oil. Gonna take our salt and pepper, add it to the olive oil. Gonna take our garlic, add it to the olive oil. Gonna give it a good mix. Once our herbs are all mixed together with our oil, we're gonna rub this on, coat the whole thing nicely. Also do underneath a little bit. While we're working on the wings, we're gonna take our wing joint and tuck it underneath. And that's just gonna help it sit in the pan a little bit better. And lastly, we're gonna take the rest of this. And you wanna to try to leave a little bit to do the inner cavity. Like so. And now we're gonna take our apple our lemon and our onion and stuff that cavity with it and really you should be tying the legs together unfortunately I forgot butcher's twine so that's not gonna happen and one of our wings tried to uh, escape so we're gonna tuck that back underneath and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna put this in a 325 degree oven uh, until it turns light brown, and once it turns like a light, uh, golden brown, I should say, once it turns a golden brown, we are going to be tinting it with some aluminum foil. So I will show you what it looks like at that point. Our turkey's been in for just over two hours now. It's coming along nicely. I'm gonna, just gonna take some of this oil and baste it a little bit. And then we're just gonna let it continue to do its thing. Our turkey's been in the oven for right about three hours. If you look at it closely, a lot of oil has come out, which is fine. It's starting to brown nicely. Uh, what I'm gonna do at this point, it's, I also checked the temperature. It's at about 135. It has to go to 160, 165. I'm gonna pour off some of this oil. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take maybe just like four cups of water and put it in the bottom. And the reason why I'm doing this is because at the very, very end, I wanna make a sauce using turkey stock. Uh, the best way to make a turkey stock is just put some water in here and I'll have like a nice turkey juice at the end. So, see you shortly. Turkey is now out of the oven and I strained off a little bit of the fat. I should actually use the fat in here for um, our sauce. I'm just using a little bit of olive oil. You can use butter if you want. Um, I just prefer the oil as opposed to butter. We're just make, basically making a very, very quick roux. Um, literally about two tablespoons of olive oil. Add in some flour. Now you notice that it's quite crumbly and not really together. So we're gonna add just a drop more oil. That's coming together nicely. Very good. We're just gonna cook this out for about a minute should get a little bit of a nutty flavor. Our roux has been cooking for just about maybe a minute and a half and our liquid is hot. So being that our roux is hot and our liquid is hot, you have to add the liquid slowly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be adding about a ladle full at a time. You wanna stir that.
If you hit it all at once, you'll get clumps, and we don't want clumps. We can actually turn down our flame, our flame's a little bit high. And we'll go with probably about that much, maybe. Then we're gonna bring this up to a simmer and let simmer for about 20 minutes, half hour. And while this is going, we're working on turkey. So our turkey was in the oven probably for right about four and a half hours. Um, at the, like the last 15 minutes of it, when it reached about 155 degrees, I actually put the broiler on so it got a little bit browner because I wasn't happy with the brownness. So that's one of the things. Next comes the fun part, carving a turkey. A lot of people have no clue as to how to carve a turkey. So we're gonna go through that. There's two main ways. First way, the breast is, there's a bone right here that goes straight down. And this right here is a breast. So if you go like this, you'll notice that there's nothing there. Down underneath, down here is a thigh. And if you kind of go like this, you'll notice that the leg almost just like kind of pops right off. So this right here is a breast. The first way of carving a turkey is just kind of slicing down on the breast and doing slices. Some people like to carve a turkey at the table. Um, a more, I'll use the word professional way of doing it is taking the breast off. So we're gonna follow the breastbone. Now I'm actually gonna spin it this way. The wishbone, the wishbone's right over here. So once you hit the bone, you'll notice I hit the bone. Once you hit the bone, just follow, follow it along. and the wing is connected right over here, there's a bone. So if you cut through here. This is, I'm not on a, uh, I'm on a metal platter, so I'm afraid to actually go through with my knife because I don't want to destroy my knife. There it goes. So this is a whole breast with the wing. If you go like this, the wing will come right off. And this is your wing. You can divide the wing in two if you want. Just like kind of go like that. So here's half your wing. And here's the other half of the wing. The breast, most people will do very thin slices going this way. So, you basically just do the whole breast. And then when you put this on a platter, you can kind of fan it out a little bit, like so. So that's your breast. And then as far as the leg goes, if you come back here, let me try to show you a little bit better. That should literally just almost crack right off like that. And then take your knife and you just cut through the meat. And this is your leg and your thigh. If you turn, flip it over, you should be able to go right there and separate the leg. And this is your thigh. You can just cut, you can serve it like this, but there's a bone that goes over here. If you want to debone it, you can. It's a little bit hot. I don't know if you see the steam coming off. And that bone should just kind of pop right out once you've gone around. Just like so. So then you can cut up the thigh if you want to do it that way. Uh, one last thing, over here, right behind where the wing, uh, I'm sorry, right behind 
the leg was attached right over here. Right over here is something called the oyster. And this right here, you'll notice there's like a nice smooth bone right here. This right here is called the oyster. And it is the most succulent piece of meat on the whole turkey, at least. Uh, there's a, you also have this on a chicken, but just on a turkey, this is the most tender piece of turkey right here. So, and then you do this side the same way and your turkey's perfectly carved. So anyway, I'm gonna carve up this and I'll show you what it looks like in a few minutes. So I put our turkey on the plate and I want to show you what it looks like. Now comes my favorite part through all this work. Oops. Cheers. Really, 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 really good for reallys today. Um, really just my turkey came out perfect. Nice, moist, delicious. Um, you can't really see my uh, sauce. Actually, if you look closely, you can see the sauce. Sauce came out very nice consistency, has great flavor. One of the herbs that I used earlier add to the flavor of the sauce. Just a really, really great turkey. Anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. If you learned how to carve a turkey, definitely give me a thumbs up in this video. Thank you. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed the content. And uh, Please tell me what, what specialty items you like to make for Thanksgiving. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a very happy, healthy, and safe Thanksgiving. And I will see you all after Thanksgiving. Take care. Be well.